So guys, here's a quick look at a uh, Holzer Hugel bed, a true Hugel bed designed by Seth Holzer. And you get some idea of the scale. And just to give you a little bit better idea, there's my foot. I'm doing this alone, kind of broke away from the group for a little bit to do this. And uh, you can see there, this is just dirt. And this is kind of stage one. This one's actually been planted. There's some gooseberry, currants, raspberries. A lot of stuff you can't see uh, is actually already in the bed. Uh, he did a mix of seeds for the area, including beans, peas, and corn, and some other things. And then he's actually seeding a mix that he's put together himself that we've only got sparse details on actually what's in there. We just know that many of the varieties are difficult to get in the United States, if not impossible, but somehow he's got them here. I'll leave it at that. And uh, that's kind of stage one. So I only just see stage one. So even though it's planted, really, this is what they look like when they're done. And they, they don't really look very attractive at first. And uh, we have to wait for them to grow in. Now, I'm going to move over here. And uh, I want you to see, I'm going to show you real quick what he calls a nail. And a lot of the guys have been making these, so you got to see how that works. This one's not quite finished yet. That needs to be pointed, and that one should be a little bit, that piece should be a little bit shorter. This is designed to hold things into the bed. And if we go over here, you can see where they've been laid. So there's a little bit happier of a gooseberry that's been planted. And you can see, and don't focus on the fact that this is pine or uh, birch or anything. They used whatever was available is what's been used. So once this stuff is added, that's when he adds what he calls his fine seed mix. So... Uh, people are coming in, they're planting all the, uh, the perennials, rhubarb, gooseberry, uh, raspberry is primarily what they've been planting up here, but you shouldn't really focus on it, you should focus on whatever you want to plant. You can see those beds are really high, they're over a meter and a half high, they're, they're close to two meter beds, uh, because of the area, that's what he wanted to do. And then once this is all done, he comes in with his fine seed mix, and then they're laying a layer of straw on top of all this. And uh, they start to look uh, better and better as you go. And I'm going to try. The sun's really harsh behind me. But to give you a feel here for this outdoor, almost like a living room effect, and maybe I'll just walk through it a little bit. Even if there's some, uh, even if there's some sun, you know, brightness that kind of ruins the video, just to kind of give you an understanding of how we walk through here. That whole area out there, I'm sure with the sun you can't really see it very well anyway, is uh, being turned into a waterway. And then you can see how this, this one bed just bends all the way around. And it's, uh, I'd say it's about, just looking, it ends right there. So that is about 40 yards, maybe 50 yards in length. Then the other thing to realize is that the base of this bed, the other side of the base is maybe, maybe a meter and a half. Now the beds are two meters tall. That means that my... My surface area I'm taking up is a meter and a half from front to back. But the, the, the surface area I'm growing in, two meters up, two meters down, I'm getting four meters out of a meter and a half of space with this design. And uh, there's a huge amount of organic matter. I would say that the wood in this bed comes up about, uh, I would say, a little bit between one-third and one-half of the way of the base of the bed. And then that, the rest of that is just beautiful Montana topsoil. Uh, that may be hard to find. But this gives you a better idea of how big a Holzer project really is. And with that, this has been Jack Spierko with another Survival Podcast video.